Hey guys, Silent Seo here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross Gacha video. But before we get down to all the Gacha content, I just want to talk to you guys a bit because this morning Bandai Spirits actually announced the SD Macross figures. <laughs> So if you guys are familiar with the Gundam series and of course it's SD Gundam style of plastic models you will probably be very familiar with the chibi style size figures so yes Bandai Spirits or rather Bandai has announced the SD Macross series and they feature well technically all the Valkyries from the original SDF Macross series and usually SD series comes to mind with one game franchise and that is Super Robot Wars and I'm sure most of you who are Mecha fans are familiar that the Macross series has appeared before in the, Me in the Super Robot Wars um, series but they recently have not appeared for many years um, mainly due to licensing and with you know um, Golden Harmony and Big West shaking hands recently um, it is definitely looking towards you know Macross returning to the Super, Super Robot Wars franchise uh, especially with this announcement of the SD Macross plastic models so guys let me know your thoughts about this um, news and information uh, speculation I guess it's not solid proof that the Super Robot Wars is going to feature the Macross series yet because they have not uh, officially announced the full lineup of all the robot franchises within the game itself for its 30th anniversary that is slated for a 2021 release so we are still hoping, crossing our fingers and praying hard that the Macross franchise will return to the Super Robot Wars franchise I'm hoping that the 30th anniversary game is gonna be a big one just like Super Smash Bros <laughs> where they had all the characters in all their franchises or rather all their games uh, combining into one so I'm hoping that the 30th anniversary Super Robot War game is going to be like that so we're gonna see the Macross Blast series Macross Frontier and hopefully finally the addition of Macross Delta to the Super Ro Robot Wars um, storyline as well so yeah you can let me know your thoughts anywhere on my social media be it on Facebook Instagram or here on YouTube itself so guys with all that said let's move along with the actual gacha content for this video and yes it's finally Maki Maki's turn to get her wedding dress so that she can pair up with her Kiawawa Rei Rei who has been waiting for her <laughs> to get her dress um, for a very long time since last year in fact so a lot of people were wondering if Makina will actually end up wearing a groom costume you know because uh, they've always been pairing Makina and Reina together and they kind of technically are a lesbian couple lesbian couple so uh, technically you know Many many people had expected Makina to be the man, <laughs> the guy in the wet in the in the pairing, um, especially since the recent fashionable Macross, um, they made Makina actually dress up like a guy. So a lot of people speculated that she might end up wearing a groom style costume for June Bright, but here we are. We have Makina in an adorable, sexy pink uh, dress which pairs well with Rei Rei and a lot of people have noticed that you know Makina's uh, illustration, the pre-evolution one so let me just tap this so yeah this image here um, pairs well with Rei Rei's 
previous <laughs> illustration uh, for her wedding dress as well. So if for those of you who are familiar with that image, you probably recognize it. Um, you know, Ray Ray was, um, I would say, injured in war as well while performing in her wedding dress. That's kind of a very strange thing to be doing <laughs> in, a, in a wedding dress, but okay. Um, so yeah, I guess it does runs well with the theme of uh, Nami Dami Baku Hatsu On, which is one of the songs in uh, Macross Delta as well, also performed with Kaname. So I guess it would do very nicely to perform that live sequence with, you know, Kaname, Reina, and Makina in their wedding dresses for that particular song. It would definitely look very, very nice. So yeah, I guess I'm, I might do a special sequence with all three of them in their wedding dresses just for that song. Uh, that is, if I can get Makina's costume, because sadly to say, if you guys have noticed, Makina's banner doesn't have the event gacha ticket attached to it, uh, as what I thought or speculated in the last video, because technically each month should have three event gacha tickets. So, since this month was the introduction of the event gacha ticket itself, I couldn't conclude to make you know, a final definite video explaining the event gacha ticket. Um, I guess with next month events coming around, let's see, maybe the 7 star episode plate gacha might be the one that features the blue event gacha ticket. If that's the case, I can finally make a video um, teaching newer players about even gacha ticket and how it is finally broken down into the game you know when it's gonna occur how you can use it that kind of stuff so guys thank you guys for all of you who have been following me throughout the journey of experiencing the even gacha ticket you finally know the answer well technically by next month <laughs> if the blue ticket is going to be featured on the seven star episode play gacha or maybe it might be the six star gacha that is featured in the first event of the month who knows anyways let's get down to it let's break down maki maki's episode plate and see how useful it is so 3867 total score of course as like min maze hmm well, focus stats on charm and a bit more on voice. Of course, soul suffering, the worst case of stats. Um, mainly because, well, the song that's currently going on does require more points on the charm factor. So yeah, and of course, let's pay attention to the three other divas who can use Maki Maki's plate. Of course, Ray Ray has to be there. Lovely Ranka is there as well, and of course the lovely Milane. Surprisingly, all four divas that I actually like are in this episode plates uh, usefulness. So wow, this definitely is an episode plate that I must get. <laughs> all right, center skill charm up. Seems like is looking towards to be the same as Ma um, Min Mei's plate. So. Unit's charm is boosted by 90% up, which is the best percentage boost that a single um, diva can get. Moving along, active skill, yep, the new version of the high score active skill. For 5 seconds, your score is boosted by 70% up. Not the best we've seen for a modern 6 star episode plate, but you know. Life skill, oh, so it is a duplicate of Min Mei's episode plate. Wow! So yeah, if you guys are not familiar with this skill by now, it's the mode score up. So um, once the Cho Utahime mode begins, any note you tap that is good or below, uh, perfect or extreme, you gain that 110% uh, score boost um, 
So it's definitely a good episode play to have if you've not gotten one that is of the same series and of course with such stats values. So yeah. And of course the last thing is the last page which is the special note attachment to the episode play. Will it be the same as Mime? The first of its kind? And oh my goodness it is! Oh, this makes this episode play even more a must to attain right now. Guys, if you guys are not Minmei fans or Makina fans, both of their episode plays are current must-gets. Um, definitely, the, these episode plays are going to enter into the top few positions of must-have episode plays for both Vivas. Um, in general, even if you are just a generic high score achieving player for Utah Macross, both plates are a must get right now. So guys, if you have seen stones or if you have the finances in your wallet to buy more singing stones to attain both copies of their episode plates, please try to do so. At least get a single copy at, and you can probably get the rare up star to evolve their episode plates to the sixth star form. So yeah, so that's basically just the bare minimum that you need to try and get. Of course, for free to play players, the bare minimum is just to get episode plates with costume points on them and try to at least get these divas brand new costumes for your collection. And of course, you know. You, the costume comes in handy when it comes to high score achievements as well. You know, they do boost the particular stat that's required for high score achievement for the event. So that's just really, really the bare minimum that you should look towards. Alright, so guys, I do have enough singing stones to do two template pulls for, you know, Maki Maki's gacha, like I said in the last video. Gotta be. Uh, Trifty, <laughs> but who knows? Anyways, it's around 4 p.m. Technically 5 p.m. in Japan. Um, so we're gonna do the free pool. I still have the afternoon daily pool as well. It's gonna transition into the evening one soon. So let's do things as we always do. Okay, we do get somewhat of a load there. So who knows? Considering that Min Mei's gacha was kind of horrible, kind of, you know, so hopefully Makina's gacha will do better. That's what I'm hoping for. I don't know, looking at Freya's anxious face is making me anxious now. It is a pretty decently rare common plate, so. Uh... Okay, we're gonna try a bit of a different style today. So we're gonna do the single free pools as usual. Then instead of going to the super dimension gacha um, for the first round of ten play pools, we're gonna do the discounted pool for Makina first to see how the general luck is for ten plates before we decide to go for the super dimension gacha. All right. So it is technically. Oh, it is kind of common. So it seems like the luck today isn't that fantastic. That's not a good sign. Oh boy. Alright, so like I said, we're gonna go with the discounted template pool for Makina. Then of course from there we'll decide if we should go for the super dimension gacha itself. Okay, we do get some load there. Hopefully that's something good. Here we go. Okay, three Valkyries. So pretty mediocre luck. Uh oh. Oh boy, so the luck is horrible. Hmm. Oh, okay, so at least the bare minimum is there. We got costume points for Maki Maki's brand new wedding dress. Alright, moving along with all the other co common boxes. Mm -hmm. At least this time around we are getting more Delta episode plates. Unlike Min Mei's gacha. 
Okay, this is pretty rare. You don't see this very often. Oh, it is a new episode clip. Alright, there it is. The banner saying that we got costume points for Makina's wedding dress. And we can unlock it through episode orbs. Let's see. Oh, okay, so it belongs to Mikumo's gorgeous costume. Hmm. Okay, so the luck is pretty horrible, so we're going to go with the Super Dimension Gacha to flush out the good luck. So, let's go ahead and waste 10 tickets right here. Hopefully it is a waste, then at least the 10 plates later will be better in luck. But we did get the quick look. Oh boy. Oh no! Oh no, I don't want the good luck to be in this gacha pool. That's not good. Don't give me that derpy face, Ikaru. <laughs> oh god. I'm very nervous right now. Oh no. Why did the rainbow box appear so early? And it's a very old episode plate for Mikumo as well. That's not good. That's not a good sign at all. I mean, it, it's a good thing it's a 5 star plate, but when it's an old one, it's a bit worrying. Okay, we get a grown up, uh, well, blown up clan clan. <laughs> I wouldn't say grown up, technically. In her micron form, she's the same age. It's just that she's in her Zentradine form. Okay, so which costume does this belong to? Oh! Okay, Cheryl's Halloween cat costume. Alright. I guess we're gonna go for it now. Very nervous! Oh god. Please, give me the episode play. Give me! Uh, well, if you don't give me the episode play, at least give me more costume points. Ah, guys. This is it. Here we go. To be honest, I'm not expecting to see the episode play. Oh god. Oh no. Why? Why does it always have to happen when it comes to very useful episode plates? It's like they purposely wreck up the difficulty of attaining them. Okay, I don't know if it's a new plate, but you know, any image for Mirage, I'm happy. <laughs> there we go, more costume points. That's what I'm talking about. Hopefully, the last red box bring something to the table. Oh, another old episode plate. Yes. Uh, I did say I was kind of expecting it. Such a bummer. It always happens like this. You know, very useful episode plates and the luck rate is just horrible. Well, for, for my account at least. And I didn't see a lot of um, Japanese players posting their wonderful pools for this gacha as well. I mean, people who have actually attained the featured episode plate. That means, they, I think Dana really purposely reduced the pool rates. Well, technically on the banners, they might say, you know, the usual pool rate is maybe like, what, 1, 3? No, okay, 0 0.3 is for 6 star. For 5 star is 5%, but you know, saying the digits on the banner here may not be the actual percentages uh, you know, behind the game's calculator system, you know, RNG system, so that might be the case for, our, for all gacha games out there, it's just a front to show you the actual percentages, but the real percentages for pool rates might be different. Who knows? Anyways, 
I'm not gonna end the video on such a horrible poo as usual. We're gonna go with a guaranteed 5 star ticket because I have it and it, you know, technically it's not gonna expire yet. But since I have it, let's end it on a good note. Maybe we might get something good from this guaranteed 5 star poo. Because, you know, sometimes they will just give you good episode plates with special no attachments to it. You know, we've seen it happen before. Yup, it seems like today's luck is pretty horrible since the Valkyrie animation and sequences has been pretty consistent. Oh! I don't think I have this. Do I? Yep, it's brand new for me! Wow! Okay, let's take a look at the overall... Combo bonus. Okay. Hey! Special note attachment! So the guaranteed 5 star ticket saves the day! So we do get a fantastic episode plate from Basara. I, I couldn't be happier. I mean, I wish it was the brand new Makina episode plate. You know, considering that I did use quite a bit of episode ops recently to unlock other costumes for this month. So it's kind of a bummer that I might not get Makina's costume unlocked as soon as I wanted to. But, you know, at least the option to unlock the costume is there in the future. But anyway guys, as usual, thank you guys for joining me on another episode of Utame Cross Gacha, Gacha videos. If you guys watch through the whole thing, let me know in the comments section down below. And of course, your thoughts on the SD Macross plastic models and you know your your speculations your hypothesis you know on maybe the franchise of Macross returning to the Super Robot War series are you guys excited for it you know the plastic models the game and of course Makina's episode play as usual guys I'll see you guys soon right after maybe hitting the like share subscribe bye